progress. Uh, that's the most important thing on this channel over the last two years. So let's see some progress, I guess. Hello guys, my name is Doke and during the last weekend I've done something what I wanted to do for like forever. In order to have a better view of my artistic progress over the years, I organized my artworks since the day one until now, since 2007 until now. 13 years of painting, almost every single artwork that I've ever painted is over there. And I know what you're thinking right now, you want to see it. Don't you worry, you can just click over here and you will get to the legendary Back in the Days series. It's kind of old and I talk super slow over there. But th it includes most of this good stuff. You During know the organizing of these files, I got an idea that it might be interesting to see what progress I've done over the last 12 months. Because I feel like these last 12 months were super important for me. So today I'll repaint the artwork that I've done almost exactly one year ago. It's this artwork, the Easter Bunny. And I realized that this is also the exact spot where I announced that I want to get better. That progress is my, you know, main thing. So let's begin. <laughs> Awkward. first lines are done. I used a little bit different technique than last year and also the bunny looks quite different than the last year. Although it's almost the same bunny in the same position. He just changed. Just looking for some clouds as a reference, but yeah, um, not the best day to paint clouds. <laughs> admit that before this painting I was totally terrified although you know here's the deal uh, during the last year I I feel like I've done a huge progress especially the I try series helped me a lot to learn new painting skills learn me how to do textures how to get my proportions better I've been also drawing at home but the reality is that at the end I didn't really make that many characters especially not on walls. You know, I've been drawing with pencils and recently I also started to do these canvases, these portrait canvases, but there is, there is this problem. 
problem of style. You know, most of the artists, when they paint, they change the subject, they change uh, the animal that they paint, they change the person for a portrait. Graffiti writers, you know, they change uh, the words or the colors. But I, right now, at the moment, I just do, you know, <laughs> I try series. That's basically something completely different every single time. I'm never comfortable. So my situation right now is that before every single painting, I don't need to just figure out what am I going to paint, but also in what style am I gonna paint it. And this makes me especially stressed before character paintings, because this is not something what I really know, this is something what I actually try to learn. And the fact is that if you wanna talk about characters, I don't really have any style, if I don't count that little doodle style that I've done in in front of that bike shop recently. Apart that, I, I don't have any character style. You know, if I practice and draw on a paper with a pencil, I basically try to do realism. On a canvas, well, recently, I also try to do a realism because, well, yeah, to create realism, you don't really need a style. So also before today's painting, I was like, yeah, what am I gonna do? What style? Um, well, yeah, you know what? I don't have a style, so I should probably go with with realism, but painting a rabbit with his fur and all these uh, details and... You know, realism is not really the easiest thing to do. So I tried multiple different things and I tried to sort of create a style in, in two hours. But none of that really worked for me. I, at the end, I knew that, well, I'll need to stick with the realism. The position of the sun at the moment isn't ideal. I can't really see what am I doing. Don't mess it up. Just don't mess it up. It's all right. It's awesome how artists can go from pure anxiety to pure joy and excitement. Yeah, the only problem is that they can get back to anxiety pretty fast. You can already see some differences if we compare it with the last year. This rabbit looks quite normal, you know? He doesn't look like a toxic creature. Also, the skies are blue, not orange anymore. Yeah, bear that in mind. It might have some purpose. What are those? Well, I guess that you're gonna find out soon. Maybe you remember.
remember that a while ago I recorded this video where I expressed my concern about the virus situation. It was at the time when nobody really cared, you know, and I was kind of thinking where this might go. And well, a few weeks later, I have to say that I didn't expect that it's gonna end like this. Like, not at all. So, well, right now we need to deal with it. I swear that these green cans were the last time when I used them was actually over here one year ago. I almost never used green. So I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Since the last year, the grass got much higher. And there is also something else than just bigger grass. Alrighty, it's time to show you the final piece and also reveal to you what I wanted to say with this artwork. That will be right at the end, but before that let me tell you an idea that I got during a painting. I want to ask you if you want to see how I repaint some of the old sketches that I talked about in the beginning of this video. And yeah, if you like this artwork, thumb up would be awesome too. But yeah, anyways, it's time to show you the difference between today's artwork and the last year's artwork. And at the end, I'll explain. This is... So um, the bunny isn't uh, mutated anymore because the virus cleaned the environment. Yeah, that's basically the whole idea. Also, the clouds are normal right now. Plants are bigger than the last year. And yeah, um, for us humans, this situation sucks. But yeah, at least all the animals and the whole environment of this beautiful planet it's having a good time right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>